Hi and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we're looking at modeling, creating an object and instead of using um, the meshes like we had before, okay here's a mesh right down here, this, this cube mesh, we are going to be creating uh, an object using curves. Okay, very very useful, it's got some limitations, curves do, but we'll look at that as we go through. Okay, what is a mesh? Well a mesh is, if I go into edit mode, a mesh is made from um, these points, these vertexes, or edges, okay, um, or faces. A curve is made from something completely different. Okay, object mode. I'm going to, oh wait a minute, I'm going to put it into the right setting first. We're going to go view, orthographic, because it toggles back and forwards me that, and that's the number key, number five, uh, number key on the numpad at the far right hand side of your keyboard, if you've got one. So I toggle that off and on. Perspective disappears into the distance. Orthographic does not. And we're also going to the top view as well. Top view, view, and then going um, number pad number seven. Look straight down from the top. X key, enter to delete your, your cube. This little panel here, which gives you lots of really useful numbers, we're going to press N to just um, pop it ping, in there. We can bring it out again if we want to. N key off and on. And we are going to go Shift A. Now, instead of adding a mesh like we normally would, we're going to curve and we're going to insert this thing called a Bezier. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Um, curve, which is basically this thing right here. I'm zooming in, using my middle mouse wheel. If I go into edit mode, pressing the tab key, or going down there, edit mode, you'll see that a curve is actually made from two points only. That point at the end, at the beginning, and that point at the end. And attached to each of these points, you've got these things with handles. If I right click the handles, go G for grab, I can go through and move it around. The more you pull these handles out, the more that they actually um, distort the curve. Very, very small handles, very, very small distortion. Okay, G for grab. And I can go through and distort that. Notice there's no curve at that side, so it's not actually distorting anything. But when I pull this around, the back part up here also moves around with it. Now, first of all, over on the side button, toggle cyclic. Toggle cyclic basically says that, okay, beginning, well, beginning and end, it's going to join it together and it's going to use these handles right here um, and actually follow them to finish, to, um, to round off the curve. Okay, good stuff. New tool right up here. See that one right there? It was a cube, object data, now it's turned into a curve. Click that, click on 2D, makes the thing completely flat and when you toggle cyclic when you're in 2D, you actually have the whole thing actually create a, um, a face, a, um, a, a surface that we can actually build upon. Build upon, you may ask? Yes. Have a look at this. See the extrude here? If I drag that up, you can see the entire cube, cube um, curve is extruding itself. So I can still go through and adjust the, um, the pieces of it, but as you can see, it is now um, extruded. Bevel, depth, I can drag that as well. And as you can see, the curves, um, the, the edges, have been given a, a slice out of them, a beveling. I can increase the resolution of those bevels to make it smoother, and that's all great. Okay, not a very interesting shape though. Here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to go through and get rid of the beveling, and get rid of the extrusion. I'm going to turn off the Tychic Soggling, Toggle cyclic, that's better. And I'm going to go through and put a background image on there. Okay, first of all, back in the top view. You must be on top view. You must be in orthographic view for this part here to work. In the background, I've got this um, this image. It's a, um, it's, a, it's an image of, I'll show you. I've clicked it, left click, drag it in, dump it on top, and it produces an image in the background. In the end, Oops, better drag it back on again, I suppose. In the N um, button, this, this information panel, you can see underneath background images, it's actually gone through. And they've very nicely gone through and actually put that on the Core 5.5 panel um, onto all views. 
So no matter which view, top view, um, front view, top view, left view, no matter which view you go into, you can see it. But if I go and move it around, in user views, you don't see it. So go back to top view. We're going to grab this, drag it in, G, and it was going to scale it down to press the S key. Just bring it on in so I can actually just see it all. Uh, S key, scale it down as well. I'm going to, this is a really cool key, Shift B. Shift B will go through and scale the entire um, view image window Oops. Um, up and down. So you can actually zoom into whatever you want to. We are going to reproduce this image real fast. Here we go. Click, G for grab, put it at the base. Oops, it's not the base, right there. I'm going to go through, drag this up here like this. Um, and as you can see, I can move these handles around and get it to actually match um, the shape of the curve. But, watch this. If I go through now and press my control key down, I can start, oops, let's drag this in here a little bit too, keep grab. I can now go through and hold my control key, press my left mouse button, and you can see that it's actually reproducing this exact same um, point with its handles in every single situation. There's a better way to do it. Let's zip over to here. Handles, we're going to go click Auto. Now it sort of messes this one here up a little bit, but it's all good for now. Now press the control key down, and as you go around, you can actually see that the handles um, follow more of a... No, they don't. What do I do wrong? Oh, over here in the middle. Auto, that's better. And then I can go through G. Oh, bother. I'll try that again. Auto, then ignore the fact that it's all wonky. Then you go and press the control key down, and you'll see it tries its best. It comes around there, up to there, down to there. And then back out. It tries its best to follow the line that you've been drawing. It's not perfect, but it will do the job for now. How do you fix it though? Right, as you can see here, we go through, press G, grab, and just try to grab and drag those little handles so that the, the curves match. I'm going to do a pretty quick and shoddy job today. I'll just give you a point. G for grab. Right click, G for grab, and as you can see I'm just trying to match all the little curves up. Now, you'll see in certain places like here, I need a sharp curve coming straight down. You can't do that using the auto handles. You've got to go into this thing called Vector. Vector will make this handle here point straight down towards the next one. Vector. So now, that one handle there is pointing straight down towards the one down the bottom. I can go through, grab him, drag him out like we normally do and grab that one there, it's now on a vector, and move him around. So now we have a sharp edge in that corner. Notice what's in here now, also now moves completely freely. V for vector, G for grab, move him around. And so now we can go through and create nice smooth edges and sharp ones. Now, if you've got something on a curve, you need just to leave these handles straight. Because if I go through here and press V for vector, and then go, it, it, bad stuff happens. It's not a very nice curve at all. Okay, so Control Z to undo that. Um, that one there, we're going to toggle cyclic. And I'm going to go V, bring it straight across towards that one. V. Okay, now this is pretty awful. It's pretty shoddy. Okay, it's, um, it's just a very, very quick version. Because we can actually go through now, add the extrude to it, and then do a really cool thing. We can. Let's see if we can just drag all this around so I can see a bit better. Go into um, object mode, go Alt C, and turn this entire thing here into a mesh. Okay, now if I go to tab, you'll see that the entire thing has been turned into faces and edges. That's got good points and bad points. The bad points is that all these things here are triangles. And triangles only ever look good 
after they're on a flat surface. If you try messing around with those guys there, you are going to end up in trouble. Anyway, that was a quick introduction to curves. We're out of time. We may come back to some curves again later. Uh, but for now, the tutorial has to end. So, see you next time.